Was he always a bad loser, Ian? Was he always a bad loser? My dad will be over the moon. I've met you, so when I tell him, he'll be, he'll be buzzing. Oh, good. And we went into a penalty shootout. I'll take a penalty. And hey, brother John, you take a penalty. Stepped up and missed and got really upset of his dad. And, <laughs> <laughs> and he did, he got really upset. And yeah, again, thanks for everything you did for me oh, back okay. then. I yeah, never obviously got the opportunity. It wasn't just now. me, there was a lot of people. Yeah, and yeah. There's, there's a lot more people, you know. Can you remember us or not? I'm yours, I'm sure. Can. can you? How are you doing? I'm all right. Yeah, nice to see you. Class, you've done brilliant for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Well done, you have. Yeah, excellent. How's your dad? Yeah, I am all right. Sorry to see you, yeah, mate. Really good to see you. You've grown a little bit, mate. Like you're doing well for yourself, mate. Really, yeah, really, 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 really good. Thank you. Proud of everybody, is I think. Yeah, it's been a long time uh, since I've seen Sean, but um, yeah, his son used to play with me at, at Fulwood Juniors when. How old was that? About eight or nine. Eight or nine. We were very, yeah. very, very young, it wasn't. So a long time ago. Um, but of course, I still remember him, remember, remember his That's face. Good. I wasn't sure if you would have to be yeah, honest. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, but yeah, some amazing times back then. Obviously, you've done a lot for me, and my dad will be over the moon. I've met you, so when I tell him, he'll be, he'll be buzzing. Oh, good. Um, so yeah, of course, people like Sean helped me massively over my career at a very early age, and I wouldn't be where I am today without him. No, I've known Ian like the same as same as Hendo since I was about six, seven years old. Um, still see him quite regularly, to be honest. Um, obviously, uh, time as a scout at the academy, but also ran um, a Sunday league team that I play for. Um, and yeah, it was probably the first person that really believed in me. Um, someone who gave me gave me the chance to play football at a, at a really young age and. Gave me, I don't know, just gave me everything really at a young age. The opportunity to, to play, to enjoy myself, to, I don't know, just to develop and learn. What kind of player was he when he was younger? Oh, he was, uh, he would, to be honest, if I'd tell him to go and go, he probably would have. But he would have played. Not, not much change, is it? <laughs> he would play <laughs> anywhere. Honest truth, would, once, once Saturday morning when it was uh, well, all turned up and it got called off, he was devastated. Most of the lads would have been absolutely devastated. It was uh, a Moulton Stadium, what was Moulton Stadium like? <laughs> God, the pitches, how bad were the pitches? <laughs> the pitches he's played on now, they were, they were terrible. But uh, what did they call the man who ran it with the curly hair? Used to call him Maradona, didn't Yes, they? yes. I kind of think we should but, but that's who uh, they used to. Oh, he's Maradona, but they used to, it was fantastic. It was yeah, really, it was really good. It was good. Yeah, it yeah, was. Really good you memories. should never, good players like Sir John should never forget things like that. Where yeah, you, definitely. And he doesn't, to be honest. Yeah. yeah, it's been unbelievable, to be honest. You didn't think that when he was playing for Country Park when he was seven, that he'd be the kid who'd win, you know, you'd have to get the kid in to win the league. So we've waited 30 years, haven't we? <laughs> so I didn't think, I didn't think when we were in the Walton Kirtel League, he'd be the one who'd be winning the league the next time he won it. So it's been, you know, unbelievable. Uh, but sorry, Madrid's the biggest one for me though, when he played in Madrid, we won it then, we the, cha the Champions League. Because obviously he was, at the, uh, he was at the academy and we went in, two th we was in 2005 after he'd won it and we'd had five trophies, we'd always used to get out, didn't we? Yeah. And every time we had the train and he'd, he'd probably he'd get photographs all the time with all the little six-year-olds like he was. Was he always a bad loser, Ian? Was he always a bad loser? Terrible. Yeah, That's terrible. Anything. Yeah. Out all the in time. fact, now when I'm, I do, I work at the academy now, so I'm looking for kids. I'm always looking for bad losers. <laughs> kids who get a cock off. <laughs> kids who like lose the plot. He's that you're honest. The thing is, he like never beats us at anything, so he's just constantly in a bad mood with us all the time. Yeah. 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 If you take. Like, you know, you play table tennis when he was getting older. Yeah. I think he was about 15. <laughs> I have to get this one, he's going to be gutted now. I beat him 21-3. I so, must have been about seven. I must have been about seven. He was about 15, it was, about 15. It was 21 3 And uh, so I always say, if you, if you beat anyone at the table who's won the Champions League, I have. That's my little thing too. Thank you very much, mate. Thank You're you. very welcome. We were in a semi-final once. In a, a, it's very rare because nobody ever beat one. Honestly, very, very rare. And we went into the semi finals of a competition. And I can't even remember who we played, but I think it might have been an academy team. I think it was about under 10s, under 9s. And we went into the penalty shootout. I'll take a penalty. And hey, brother John, you take a penalty. Stepped up and missed. 
and got really upset of his dad and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and he did, he got really upset. But we still won, <laughs> in the, won the final about five or six won, so <laughs> And he probably got a couple as well, because he was one of these lads who just run box to box. It's never changed, to be honest, apart from he, he never packs back when he played for us, because he wasn't allowed to. Just keep possession. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think you've ever missed a pen, have you, Dan? No, I haven't. No, 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 no. He's missed a few, though, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a you missed. One? Chelsea Super Cup, a day that slotted it. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I've, How many yeah, penalties you missed, John? I leave penalties to someone now, especially <laughs> going back, going back a long time now. So yeah, maybe that's not my thing. I just yeah. leave it, leave it to other people. Ian, have you got? I, I love the table tennis story. I'm sure you've got tons of funny. I've got a few, but I've probably been warned of it saying it in the air. So, <laughs> you know, the, big, the, the story I always remember when he was really, really young, and um, we'd started off the under seven league, and he. He, his his mum, he'd gone away, to, they'd gone to see your dad in London, hadn't you? Yeah. I was fuming, the first game of the season, but I wasn't there anyway, I had to go to a meeting. So we let the lo one of the local lads do the game, and uh, Trent wasn't there, we got beat 2-0. So I said to the fella, oh, don't worry about it, next week I, I'm, I'll be back, I'll be in charge, we'll win 10-0. And uh, he went, so I don't think so, I don't think th th there's not that many good teams in it. So the following week on the Sunday, I, I was doing the game, and the fellow who used to do it, Frank, Frank Kelly, his name was, uh, he called, used to go on the screaming skull because he had uh, he used to shout at the kids all the time. And uh, we came to the game and uh, he said to me, what score is it? I said, I think it's about 6-0. He went, he didn't believe me. And he said to the one of their fellas, what score is it, mate? He went, oh, it's about six or seven. And, and he's going, oh, it's like that being dead from you. He didn't know, understand what was going on. Next thing, Trent's got the ball. Trent's beaten about five players and not on the ball in the top corner. He went, where was he last week? <laughs> so obviously he wasn't there. So when he played, it was easy to manage, is what I mean. I think they won the game about 10 nil. What's it like listening to him talk about you, Trent? No, obviously, it's just proud because I know what he done for me at a young age. Um, and like just the, the, the belief that he had in me from such a young age and um, kind of growing up, um, always having him in there in the academy, someone that I knew. Um, when like seasons change, you go from manager to manager and it, it feels a bit strange at times, time, but it's always having a familiar face that you know you can always go back to and speak to if you need to. Um, and someone who you know has always got your back um, in the academy is, it was a nice feeling. Um, and obviously to come through, I owe a lot to Ian and, and a lot of the staff at the academy, so I try and pop in there as much as I can and, and just, just show my face. Yeah, obviously you've been at Liverpool pretty much your, your whole career, but Jordan's a bit different for you, so you know, seeing old, old familiar faces must be nice. Yeah, so very nice, you know, like, we haven't seen each other for what must be 15 years, maybe? Maybe he's a bit like bit, you, yeah. Maybe he's a bit mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot's happened since since then. Um, so yeah, really good to see him. Um, and yeah, again, thanks for everything you did for me oh, back it's okay, then. I yeah, never obviously got the opportunity. It wasn't just now. me. There was a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. and there's, there's a lot more people, you know, that, that, through my my journey, like Sean, um, who helped me, who I probably haven't seen for a long, long time as well. So hopefully, I get to see them one day. Um, but it's a bit harder for me to get back up north with. Our schedule, we don't get many days off, so I'm never really home. Um, but I still speak to some, you know, now and again, like PE teachers and, and things um, I keep in touch with. But no, yeah, delighted to, to meet Sean again today.